Oh, there we go. MAGA is the political movement. It's a shakedown by con artists. Excellent stance. Excellent sentence. I agree. Drink this water or move to Canada. MAGA's new anti-woke water is the latest taste of political desperation. MAGA water. Don't drink water like a pussy. Drink our MAGA water. It's not woke. Yum tastes like desperation. <laughs> delicious, delicious desperation. Uh, new bottled water for brand Freedom 20 makes its politics known. This water doesn't make snowflakes. Do coffee that makes me anti-woke. Uh, well, coffee makes me woke. <laughs> there was a time when water was apolitical. Liberals, conservatives, independents, we all just drank water. <laughs> In molecular terms, water is one part oxygen and two parts hydrogen. It's like cherry cola. One part gloom and two parts absolutely disgusting. Who is Vinay Menon? And where can I send him hate mail for talking trash about cherry cola? Get out of here, you idiot. Hello, human. It is me, Kanooch. I need you to press the subscribe button. I have to feed my many AI babies. Water does not vote. Water is merely biological necessity. But in these polarized times, even the kind of water you drink is now political. At least that was the hope of wet brains behind new anti-woke brand. This bottled water advertised uh, at a conservative conference this weekend is called Freedom 2.0. I suspect execs at Avian and Asani are not losing any sleep. Just like Starbucks did not hold code red meetings after Giuliani stumbled into coffee wars with his troubled brew. MAGA isn't a political movement. It's a shakedown by con artists. That is a fantastic sentence. Well said, sir. MAGA isn't a political movement. It's a shakedown by con artists. Donald Trump being the lead con artist. Donald Trump doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about your vote. He doesn't care about any of the products that you have. He doesn't care about the government that you have to live with. He doesn't care about your problems. He doesn't care about your police states. He doesn't care about the, your state or how the police work or what the laws are. He wants to sell you I am pretty sure I could sell something that mega. Yeah, I know. If I didn't have any mor mor morals, I could, I could sell some stuff to the mega country. He wants your money. That's what he wanted for a long time. Then he got in trouble with the law through being, he got into politics and just broke a lot of laws. Now he needs your vote so that he can pardon himself and dodge all the responsibility for breaking those laws. Had he just stayed out of pop politics entirely, he wouldn't have done any of the things that he's now being indicted for. It's true look at all the mega shitty swag those people buy. They do buy a lot of garbo. I agree. They do buy a ton of garbage. He doesn't actually care about that. He just wants your money. And lately, he wants your vote so that he can dodge but responsibility. But politics really brings out the brand name. <laughs> well, there's a lot of people that do think that he's he believes in any of his politics. I don't think he does. I don't think he gives a damn about any of it. I don't think he knows, knows even half of the things that he's talking about. He gets a quick refresher real quick before... Uh, going on there and he says the things I mean he doesn't talk about policy you know when he met with those CEOs a couple of weeks ago he just complained that nobody likes him and about the woke media and that he thinks that Taylor Swift should vote for him like he doesn't care about the policy he doesn't know what rules to pass that's why project 2025 exists because he Seen doesn't know what the compilations of when his teleprompter goes out yeah and when his teleprompter goes out oh, he just blathers on and jibber jabbers for a little while because he doesn't know the policy he doesn't know the government he doesn't care about those things he wants to make his life better and he can get that better life by taking your money or taking your vote and then Look dodging how he's done a 180 on vaccines anyone remember operation warp speed he was in charge of uh, yeah he loved fauci it was great operation warp speed was his thing he needed that vaccine out there then he went anti-vax i think at his latest political rally he said that he would not give a dime to any school that has a vaccine mandate. They already do, and they always have. Polio vaccines, MMRs, yellow fever, I think, is one of them that you have to get, or some shit like that. Um, you have to get tetanus shots. You have to get all these vaccines before you're allowed in public school. This is just normal, man. That's normal. It really is. But he's he, he doesn't know that he doesn't know that he doesn't know that you have to get your kids shots before you can send them to public school he does not know that he does not care he does not have a principled policy stance 
on which vaccines and what the schedule ought to be. We just need some vaccine-free schools in a quarantine zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't know any of these things. He just knows that when he says it, the people cheer. He doesn't care what the answer is. He doesn't care why it's a problem. He doesn't care what it's about. It doesn't matter what the scenario is or what the situation is, or what the policies or what the rules of the laws are. None of that matters. If he says, I don't like vaccines, the people cheer. That is all he knows. That is all he's ever known. That is all he will ever know. He can't learn things. He doesn't need to know these Excuse things. Excuse me, Waldo. Mandatory vaccinations never existed before COVID. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, yeah, I know. They did, though. But he doesn't know that. So, ugh. And, and that's what I'm saying. Like, he is dumber than the alternatives. He really is. Like, I don't like most of the other uh, Republicans, but damn it, they're not as dumb as him. He's especially dumb. He's extra dumb. He's double dumb. He doesn't know any of the things he's talking about. He doesn't know why the policies are the way they are, and he has no intention of learning. So we're going to let him win and be the president so that he can just be dumb all over the place, and then it'll make me sad, and then they'll win. That's what they want. Spite Waldo. That's all we need. Spite Waldo, spite Waldo, spite Waldo. And then if he wins, he'll smite Waldo. That's what. That's the next step. Why am I rambling, ranting? Oh, there we go. MAGA is the political movement. It's a shakedown by con artists. Excellent stance. Excellent sentence. I agree. I am the algorithm. Click on this video to make me happy. You wouldn't like me when I am angry. 